first of all how many men and women are there today who are marriage worthy in the first place yeah marriage has no meaning today it's so fucking it's like people are doing it people are having kids mm. in plain stupidity yeah they are still kids themselves mm. <coughs> but they want to have kids mm. are where else to spend the black money man you know like the fucking the way kids are being brought up today it it is heartbreaking mm. there are four year old girls or four year old kids mm. or three year old kids or actually kids to like from since they are a baby they mm. throw a smartphone in their hands now mm. because as a parent why why do you want to pay attention to your child you know like you can give him this they'll be occupied you know Mm. and usme they'll make a fool out of you give you cartoon videos this that everything and now you give that to your kid now you've got kids at 3 4 years scrolling through reels mm. what the fuck yeah do at that age you're changing their neurochemistry at a level from which they can never come back mm. yeah it's they can never come back they won't they won't remember what damage has happened to them a lot of childhood memories don't stay yeah they won't remember Mm. you know today i am at a level where i try to remember fuck what else has happened in my life because of today i might be a fucked up individual you know i try to consciously dive deeper into my own history whether medical whether emotional whether trauma whether beautiful moments no matter what it is that how could something have possibly changed me and how can i use that to become a better person today because in the free man ideology we have a pillar called the individual so within the individual we have you know potential we have experience and we have your spirit of masculinity or femininity so your potential is your future bank and your experience is everything that you've done until today whether you were a piece of shit or not it doesn't matter but basically every everything that you've done till today is evidence and data and knowledge and wisdom that you can mine from that you can filter out you know okay. so even if you've been a failure all your life that can be a major strength if you simply know how to you look at it in the right way yeah you know I, I, but today yeah. people will look at like okay i was born into a poor family so mm -hmm. i have no experience i got no exposure to society no man you got exposure to adversity yeah that's more important than getting exposure to society getting to exposure to society will corrupt you getting exposure mm -hmm. to adversity will strengthen you mm -hmm. you know so anyway yeah. yeah uh, you know a lot of men you know traditionally they wanted to get married have kids raise families today it's so so much harder to do that uh in what direction do you think men should go then because on one side men want more freedom they want to be the mm. free man but on the other hand today if mm. you have to get married and uh, you know have kids and you spoken to deepika bharadwaj and you know that the chances of mm. a woman filing a, a false 498 case on a man mm. is very high and you can lose mm. all your freedom a marriage and mm. a family has become almost pointless now so do mm. we give up our reproductive desires uh okay so i'll tell you one thing the question is not about man or woman anymore mm. uh um uh, it's not about man or woman anymore uh one second uh i'm just going to call for some water sure. but yeah so what is happening is that the divide all right the divide is occurring in multiple forms all right so today there's a divide between the masculine and the feminine today there's a divide within a person themselves they are disintegrated they are divided from their own multiple parts my mind is operating differently my heart is operating differently mm. all right i have not unified and integrated myself even though i am an adult male today mm. all right so you have a mind which is focusing on gratification which is focusing on getting richer power status everything and you're going through hookups but then you have a heart who feels empty when after the hookup you sleep and you feel empty from within and you feel disgusted and shameful so you have humanity today going through a period of divide all right and that is embodying within an individual that is embodying between the masculine and the feminine that is embodying between women women who are for that brand of empowerment and women who today are completely away from it they are like we want nothing to do with this 
because we know that if we are into this we will never get a worthy husband mm-hmm. nobody will want to marry a woman who is you know going to that level of extremism with some movement you know mm-hmm. so you have a divide coming in everywhere and neither is man to blame nor is woman to blame there is nobody to blame mm-hmm. this is simply an evolution of consciousness which is taking place all right so you can forget the gender also it's nothing to do with man or woman there is a split coming in consciousness because not everybody will get to go to the next level and again this this is not coming from a place of being judgmental or you know that somebody is better or somebody is worse no man this is just what is going on i'm just telling whatever my observation and experience is just showing me you know mm-hmm. so this doesn't mean that those who are going to ascend are going to be better those who get rem- behind are going to this we are nobody to figure out what's good what's bad the way it's it's happening it's happening all right it's just happening you can't fucking do anything about it unless you become a spark of one side of that consciousness so mm-hmm. either you are an awakened person and then you'll start attracting more and more awakened people to you or you'll become a light for others to awaken to mm-hmm. so your podcast is going to be one example mm-hmm. all right so there is a split in that consciousness which is there there is a particular kind of consciousness which is going to remain sleeping and then there are those whose consciousness is making them lighter beings mm-hmm. as you said reality is dense today yeah so today my focus is not on collecting shit mm. my focus is on becoming lighter mm. in every possible way all right so when you spoke about you know dipika bhadwaj and 498 and men and women and will men marry will women this thing will, yes they will there will be a huge segment of society which wants community which wants to become traditional once again which wants to come back to men being men women being women which wants to come back to healthcare being coming from nature rather than a factory there will be everything like this that will be one set of the population and then there will be one set of the population who live purely on whatever is being sold to them whether to their mind whether to their body whether to their heart so they will be the ones who will have you know just everything is going to be different for them that oh marriage i'm i'm married to three people at the same time you know that that will be marriage for them and um, oh yes i had a child but i aborted them or yes i had mm-hmm. a child and you know i've given them away or whatever and and i'm not saying any of this because i'm pro or against anything whether marriage whether abortion no i'm just saying it as it is turning out to be mm-hmm. i personally do not identify with anything i've lost all my sense of identity i've lost all my sense of right and wrong i've lost all my sense of who i am is just naked truth that i care about i don't care about what they want us to believe i don't care what i want myself to believe because the free man is also about gaining freedom from yourself you yourself imprison yourself in many ways so if today i go like feminists are bad i will be averse even to the suffering of women in saudi arabia mm. all right yeah but at the same time if you look at the evidence or the actions they are doing a slut walk in new york city but not in saudi arabia mm-hmm. how does that help the women over there yeah. you know yeah. so i will fight for women and actually i am by trying to create better men i am fighting for women people don't mm-hmm. understand that yeah my purpose is to make men better but who i'm serving is the divine feminine because i am completely enamored by the feminine mm-hmm. it has been one of the biggest driving forces for me in my life to do anything okay and this is not just for me this is going to be for anyone who's in tune with their masculine mm-hmm. because a mature masculine promotes further improvement mm-hmm. in the feminine and it the same thing works vice versa Yeah. you know so i actually adore femininity and i used to feel sad that there are because there came a time when i was like i can't be with million different women at the same time so why don't i just try to make men better <laughs> you know mm, okay and um, even though that time it was young so the mindset is different more mm. asaholic today it's not but the work the intent the purpose is the same i am actually serving the feminine Mm. nobody understands this only yeah, but... very few close people understand that what my actual purpose always has been mm. you know my work is with men my everything is with them i'm serving them etc who's going to be the ultimate beneficiary yeah. without yeah. having to put in much effort who's going to be the ultimate beneficiary obviously women yeah 
so right. this so they this have has been they yeah. have better brothers they'll have better sons they'll have just better everything mm-hmm. yeah 